Well, today marks one year since the deadly bridge collapse at Florida International University. The university community, along with first responders, paused at 1.47 this afternoon to remember the victims and the rescue effort that was unfolding one year ago tonight. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live tonight on the FIU campus with more on today's tribute. Ty. Well, Ruta Bay and Elliott, even while on spring break, many staff here at FIU, along with first responders, came together today to honor the lives lost here. And as you can see, if we can zoom in a little bit, there is a piece of where this bridge was right here along busy Tamiami Trail. And we are also learning that family could be close to finding a clearer picture on what happened one year ago today. Bells rang on Florida International University's campus Friday at 1.47 in the afternoon. Amen, and thank you, everyone. That was the attendee. moment six people were killed a year ago when a pedestrian bridge that was still under construction collapsed. We pray for their family and friends, bring them comfort and consolation. First responders, FIU staff, and local leaders prayed and held a moment of silence near the university's flag that flew half staff in honor of Alex Duran, Navarro Brown, Brandon Brownfield, Rolando Fraga Hernandez, Osvaldo Gonzalez, and Alberto Arias. Eight others were also injured. Uh, we could, should continue to remember those people that were affected and keep them in our thoughts and our prayers. The FIU pedestrian bridge collapsed five days after it was installed. It was meant to connect the campus to Sweetwater and give students a safe way to cross busy Tamiami Trail. And I could imagine what it is for every day for those families that are missing their loved ones and so on. So they want closure. A year later, leaders and families are still waiting on answers about the 950-ton, $14.2 million bridge. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating what went wrong. Meanwhile, the company that built the bridge, Munilla Construction, recently filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. But they say it wasn't an attempt to escape responsibility. Our hearts are heavy. Our FIU family will never forget. FIU President Mark Rosenberg recorded this message on the day that marks one year since the tragedy. And even though loved ones and employees are still heartbroken, behind the scenes, leaders say they want to make sure this tragedy isn't repeated. But hopefully something like this will never happen again in our community. And families are expected to get answers before the year is over. Now, today, the NTSB spokesperson I talked to over the phone told me that we could see that investigative report sometime this fall. We are live on the campus of FIU. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.